Welcome back to another great episode of Power Boating in Paradise TV. Stu Jones here at Metro Park in Jacksonville, Florida for the 11th annual Jacksonville River Rally Poker Run. It's Friday morning, a day before the actual poker run, but it's fun run day. We're going to go up the St. John's River and have a raft up party, which is brought to us by the guys at Power Boat Nation. We've got about 25 boats here right now getting ready to take the ride up the St. John's River and about another 25 coming in later today for a 50 boat poker run tomorrow. Meanwhile, let's get out on the water. Water. Let's take advantage of some of this nice, cool, mild weather. A little bit overcast. They say it's going to break and be 82 all afternoon long. So let's get out on the water with our friends here in Jacksonville on Power Boating in Paradise TV. Let's go. As we watch our poker run teams prepare for today's fun run, I would like to extend a special thank you to Bill Pyburn Sr. from Jacksonville, who was instrumental in getting this event started 10 years ago. And even though the Florida Powerboat Club has taken over a more active role in the management of this poker run, Bill is still very much involved in many aspects of the event, as well as the City of Jacksonville's Marine Coordinator, Captain Jim Suber. Of course, one of the keys to the success of any poker run is having a good headquarter marina, and this is surely the case here with Metro Park Marina, which is owned by the City of Jacksonville and is conveniently located across from Everbank Field, where the Jacksonville Jaguars play, and it's right on the doorstep to downtown Jacksonville. Some incredible boats arriving here today, getting ready for today's run, including Kenny Armstrong's brand new 48-foot Phantom. Metro Park Marina is a perfect facility for this event with floating docks and electricity which can be purchased by transient boaters using a pay station located on the main dock. There are a variety of slip sizes on four main docks and probably enough space for about 100 boats, making Metro Park the ideal docking headquarters for the Jacksonville River Rally Poker Run, now for over a decade. It looks like the boats are getting ready to head out on the St. John's River now for today's fun run and raft up party, which will take us about 20 miles upriver to the calm protective cove along the western shoreline. The Raft Up Party is sponsored by Powerboat Nation with Tommy Hofstetter and Dave Metters here in town from South Florida with two boats entered on the run, this 47-foot Apache and a 40-foot skater. Our FPC staff was invited on board Broken Arrow, the 47-foot Apache, and uh, Tommy Hofstetter even gave me a chance to jump behind the helm as we idled out through scenic downtown. Our second camera with coverage of today's run is Mike Peary from Jacksonville riding on board with James and Jennifer Mills who are doing their first poker run event in this 45-foot triple engine sonic called Bad Boy Billy. Jacksonville is known as the River City because of the St. John's River which passes through the center of the city, splitting its downtown and creating a scenic waterscape which includes impressive bridges, towering skyscrapers, and the Jacksonville Landing which is the heartbeat of the downtown area. The St. John's River is the longest river in the state of Florida with equal amounts of commercial and recreational use. At over 300 miles long, it winds through about 12 counties and eventually reaches the Atlantic Ocean at Mayport. We're now arriving at our raft up party location near Baird Conservation Area along the western shore of the St. John's River, about 25 miles from downtown Jacksonville. The soft sandy bottom makes it easy for anchoring and the shallow waters give our boaters a chance to jump in, cool off and wait around to meet new friends and check out all the cool boats that are here for the weekend. It didn't matter if you had a performance cat, a center console or a family cruiser. This is the kind of place where everyone can take part and enjoy the social vibe that is relaxed, low key and fun. Now it didn't take long for the party to get underway and remember that this day started out kind of overcast and cloudy and here we are now with clear blue skies the sun is out and everyone is having a fantastic time this of course is just a pre-activity for the poker run it's only friday afternoon the big poker run is on saturday and this is why getting in town early makes it worthwhile for everyone special thanks to powerboat nation and bill pyburn seniors crew for putting on this great afternoon party We've got a great show ahead with highlights from our Thursday night party at Jacksonville's Tilted Kilt, along with some high-speed action as we throttle up for the Saturday poker run. And of course, we've got plenty more of this stuff. That's right, guys. It's all right here on Power Boating and Paradise TV. We'll be right back.